it's Christina with TV Stuff Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Contour Legacy Leg Pillow. First thing I notice is that there's no information on the packaging, there's no insert, um, there's really nothing, just the pillow. By getting that perfect alignment, you're taking the pressure off of your lower back, it's alleviating some of that stress on your hips and on your pelvis. So I am going to go to bed and I'm going to sleep with my legacy leg pillow tonight. I even saw some people were using it for like a head pillow when they were on the couch. Um, oh, that's actually <laughs> pretty comfortable. Time to take our pillowcase out of the dryer. I said dryer, we took it out of the washer. Time is now, place is here to rest. Feeling the holes on my soul. I see, I like, I go, I get, no one can hold me back. So, first thing I notice is the design. It is a little bit of a contoured shape, a little different, not just, you know, your standard block or anything like that. Um, but the second thing I noticed, I already threw the packaging away because there was zero information on it. There wasn't a company name or a company logo. Um, it didn't say anything about the product. There was no insert, no information, nothing. So just going to look it up really quickly just to see what it claims. It says memory foam leg pillow, aligns hips, legs, and spine, all night comfort and support, unique tapered design for optimal sleep position. Fits the natural curve of your legs, stabilizes the pelvis and the lower back, restores your natural alignment, reduces pressure on the knees, hips, and lower back. It does say that it's doctor recommended. Innovative design keeps you cool all night. It's a little interesting, so we'll see about that. Memory foam never loses its shape, easily moves with you all night and stays in place. We'll see, I do tend to toss and turn a little bit. And a removable washable cover. So I would have liked that if some of that information would have been included in or on the packaging with the product, but moving on. So the case is super soft and it's kind of got like a quilted mesh pattern. Maybe that's where it says that it keeps you cool all night, um, but definitely super soft. And then you just have the zipper right along the top, open it up, peel it back, and there's that memory foam inside. So it does say that this case is washable, so we will definitely throw it in the washer and see how it does. Um, it says machine wash cold, only non-chlorine bleach when needed, and line dry only, do not iron. So we'll throw it in the washer, we'll see how it comes out. Um, I am a leg between I am a pillow between the leg sleeper. Um, so I'm actually really excited to try this pillow. I've tried the ones for your head, um, but I always thought they were very bulky and just hard and uncomfortable. Um, but I am excited to try this out. I'm curious to see if I can keep it with me all night long. And I do have lower, lower back pain um, to the point where when I'm in the gym doing certain stretches or exercises, my hips are constantly popping. It is loud. It is a little uncomfortable, and so I'm a little curious to see if this alleviates any of that pain. Um, it does say that you're just going to place it right in between your legs, and it will give you that nice alignment when you lay down. So let's go ahead and let's try it out. All right, so I'm going to lay down, catch up on Will and Grace before my daughter gets home, and I'm just going to try out this Legacy Contour Pillow just laying here on the couch. See how it feels, see how I like it, see if it's comfortable, if it's too big, too squishy, too firm. So let's see. Again, I do normally sleep with a pillow between my legs, so this is what I prefer. But now I won't be still rolling over. So I guess by Getting that perfect alignment, you're taking the pressure off of your lower back. It's alleviating some of that stress on your hips and on your pelvis. It is pretty comfy, 
just laying here. I'm curious if at night when in bed I do kind of toss and turn a little bit. I'm curious if I'm going to be able to keep this or if I'm going to lose it in the middle of the night. Um, normally I don't lose my pillow, but again, it is a normal size pillow, so it is a little bit bigger. Um, but just laying here, this is pretty comfortable. I could definitely do this because sometimes even on the couch, I will still grab a blanket and kind of ball it up or twist it around and kind of put it here under or between my legs, I should say. Um, and you'll notice even my pillow. I don't necessarily need that extra bit, but I don't know, it's just habit. So same with a blanket is what I would put here between my legs. So I could definitely see myself just using this, just laying here on the couch in the evenings, watching TV, um, reading. <laughs> it's definitely pretty comfy. It's not too firm, um, but again, it's not too soft. It definitely does kind of mold to me. I don't feel like it's too big or too bulky for me. And again, I am fairly petite. so. So far, I am definitely a fan of the Legacy Contour Pillow. I will be trying it out tonight in bed when I go to sleep, and I'll let y'all know what I think then. So I am going to go to bed, and I'm going to sleep with my Legacy Leg Pillow tonight. Um, like I said, I am curious to see if I can keep it with me all night. Um, if I am okay with it not being the full length of a pillow, um, and really just if it's comfortable to sleep with all night long. Um, I'm also curious to see, it said something about a cooling design keeps you cool all night, so I do kind of get a little hot at night sometimes, because um, I always need to have a blanket on me. It does not matter if it's hot or cold in the room, I need to have a blanket on. Um, so we'll see if I can notice that at all. Um, and hopefully in the morning my lower back will feel a little bit better. I do feel like my lower back always hurts. Um, and even in the gym or stretching, there's certain exercise or movements where my hips literally pop every time. It is super loud. It doesn't really hurt, but it is a little uncomfortable. Um, so now that I know that it is not okay to sleep like this and even I will roll my upper body over as well and this just isn't comfortable for me so that's why I would do that even with a pillow between my legs so I'm excited to try this out see how I like it see if I can keep it with me all night and I will definitely be back to let you guys know what I think so it does say that the pillowcase is machine washable it does note machine wash cold and do not put in the dryer, line dry. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the washing machine. It unzips right across the top. Just fold it back and pull that pillow out. Again, machine wash cold and non-chlorine bleach only when needed. All right, it is all done washing. So, like I said before, the tag says to line dry, but I'm actually going to throw it in the dryer on low heat and hope for the best. Just going to take it out of the dryer after I find it. There it is. All right, so it looks totally fine. It still feels nice and soft. Doesn't look like the seams are ripped or coming apart anywhere. So putting it in the dryer seemed to do just fine, but I did do it on low heat. All right, I have had my legacy leg pillow for a couple days now. I've laid on the couch with it. I've put it between my legs and both used it as like a headrest, um, which is actually really comfortable. I could sit here and watch an entire movie and be so content. Um, so I did like that. Um, I also slept with it, of course. I did lose it a couple times, but it was always close by, so it was easy for me to just reach and grab it and put it right back in between my knees. Like I said, I am a pillow between the legs type of sleeper, so... It definitely was nice to try something like this. 
Um, I even let my little girl try it out. I did not stay with her all night long. It actually fell out of the bed shortly after she fell asleep. She tosses and turns and is all over the place. Um, but she did say it was comfy when she first laid down with it. She said it maybe felt a little too big, which is kind of funny because we're almost the same size. Um, and as you can see, we threw it in the washing machine and the case is still totally fine. I even put it in the dryer on low heat and the seams are totally fine. It fit back over the pillow, absolutely fine. No issues there. I was really just disappointed that there was no information on or in the packaging when the pillow arrived. That would be my biggest complaint. Um, I'm not quite sure if it is cooling. Um, I didn't really notice that too much, but sleeping with it in between my legs, I definitely did notice um, some pressure being relieved in my lower back and now certain exercises and movements and things like that in the gym, my hips, my hips are not popping as much. So that's nice. And like I said, I really just enjoy, the dog lays here, takes up all the couch. I really just enjoy laying here with it. It's very comfortable to just lay around on the couch with it. It's taking my body in perfect alignment, taking that stress and pressure off of your knees, which is making it easier on your lower back and on your hips and on your pelvis. So really comfortable. I could lay here. I could watch my little girl do her homework at night, help her out, watch her while she plays video games, read a book, catch up on my show, whatever. Um, so I definitely liked it. I would recommend the Legacy Leg Pillow to anybody that either sleeps with a leg pillow to begin with, um, or if you have lower back or any hip problems or anything like that, definitely try it out. I loved it, really. Um, I was thinking maybe I'll get a second one. I would like to see how it is getting that total body alignment because um, I did feel maybe like something was missing a little bit. Um, but I would give the Legacy Contoured Leg Pillow four out of five stars.